Welcome back friends to the series of executor service and in this video we are going to discuss about the type of pools available in executor service and this is again very simple. So there are basically five type of pools available in uh, executor service. We can't say that five types, it's a three type of pools and two are the executors. First one is a cache thread pool. So as it name suggests, it's cached some of the threads in the pool. I'll explain it in my, uh, my next slides because I'm covering this one the first. Then is fixed thread pool, which we covered in last video, but I'll go in detail in, in next coming videos. Then there is scheduled thread pool. In this one, uh, we have some scheduled uh, threads, like we are submitting some scheduled jobs and uh, it holds those kind of threads and then there is single thread as you know there will be only single thread who will be doing everything and then single scheduled executor and in this one there is a single thread which is scheduled so i think naming convention is very pretty much clear so let's pro proceed with the uh, our presentation so in this slide i'm going to cover basically the internal functionality of cached thread pool so in cache thread pools, like we are creating a main thread and then on side by side, we are submitting the job to cache thread pool. But in cache thread pool, we don't have the queue that holds tasks. Instead of that, we have a single job holder and service is submitting one by one the jobs to this thread pool. And this thread pool will check if there is any idle sitting thread available. It will check like in this way that if thread one is busy, check for another thread if it's busy. And these are the only two threads right now available and both are busy. Then create a new one. So whenever it sees that all the threads are busy, then it creates a new one. And if there is idle sitting thread available, then it provides this job to that thread only. And you might be thinking that in, in this case, there might be a thousand threads being created, but Yes, it can be, but there is again one policy available with this, this kind of thread pool is that if the thread sits idle for 66 seconds, then pool kills it. So ultimately, if all the threads are idle, then all will be killed at one time. So if all the jobs has been done, then there will be an empty pool available. Now let's observe the same thing in a programmatically view. And in this one, I'm going to create a cached pool. But before that, I will create a job. I will do runnable job. I'm defining a job that my pool is going to be executed. This might be a different one and this can be a similar one. So I am here. Uh, using java 8 lambdas so in this job i'm first doing the thread dot sleep thread dot sleep for 10 milliseconds so that uh, when my cached thread pool observe that the first thread is busy he or she should create the next thread okay we need to add try catch here and then i am printing the name of my current thread thread dot thread dot get name okay and then i am creating a executor service service is equal to executors dot new cached thread pool okay and then for and i'm submitting 20 tasks and i is equal to zero i less than 20 i plus plus and service dot execute and the job so it's very simple now if i'll execute it you will feel that uh, my 
my thread pool is creating 20 threads internally because I added a weight. So you can see that there are almost 20 threads has been created and those will be killed ultimately when there is no task available. And if I'm commenting this one, so in that case, there will be a fewer threads. It will check if there is any busy thread, then it will create new, else it will reuse the idle one. So in this case, only 17 threads has been created. And just to add one more thing, the cache thread pool is a perfect fit for your IO intensive jobs in which you are not sure how many threads you should create. So if your application or your runnable job is IO intensive, then try to use cache thread pool. There is an interview question that interviewers ask you that where to use cache thread pool and where to use the fixed size one. Because in fixed size one, we have in, in our previous example, we took the number of cores and used those cores uh, to execute the job or task. So that's it for the cacheable pool or you can say cache thread pool. Uh, please subscribe my channel and keep watching. In the next coming tutorial, I will cover the rest of the pools and the best API available in executor service. Thank you.